In this video, I'd like to talk about cropping. Cropping is used on any vision, capture or SQX IP decode to remove unwanted background from the image. Cropping is very straightforward. Simply open the wall and select from your list of sources which source you would like to crop. Here, my source, day four, as you can see, is of a warehouse. I'm now going to use cropping just to isolate the central section here, the doorways. To do this, I simply right click, select crop. You will now see a preview image of your source. Take the cropping window and position it over the area that you wish to crop. Use the corners or the sides to increase or decrease the size of your crop. You can also use the pixel counters here at the top to explicitly define where your rectangle will be. Once I'm happy, give it a name. and click save. If I've made an error, I can go undo and redo. And if I would like a new static image, I can refresh the screen capture. Once you've saved your crop, click close and your crop now appears here underneath the original source and you can deploy it to the video wall. As well as crop, wall control 10 supports splitting of sources. If I go back into the cropping menu, I can choose split. Split automatically creates four quadrants, which can be used as individual sources. I can choose how many rows and how many columns I want. I can give each one a name. Again, once I'm happy, I simply click save and my two splits are now available. Here is my original. Here is split one and split zero. This is how you use cropping in Wall Control 10.